afternoon good evening hello my brothers and sisters in Christ I hope that you all are well as you can see I am a bit closer up to the camera this morning because the word that I want to give to you guys is very 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 personal and on the heart of the father this is a God challenge this is a God challenge people of God the Lord wants to challenge you to, to this week this week um, and moving on through the end of the month God is saying that he needs for you to keep your mind on him. Keep your mind on him. People of God, this is a season where the Lord is blessing and he's also shaking up the wicked. And so our minds are traveling. Our anxiety levels are up and they're down and we're looking at things and we're worried and just really not really knowing what's to come. You know, we don't really know exactly what's moving forward. But God is saying that that is not of concern of the body of Christ. The concern of the body of Christ is to walk in what he has called you to do, to answer when he when he calls you to 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 receive those things that he's giving you. But also we supposed to be keeping our minds on him. God is saying that many of us can alleviate from stress. We can alleviate from worry. We can alleviate from weariness by just simply making a decision to keep our mind on him. God is saying that if he didn't give it to you, then it's not your issue. If he didn't tell you about it, then don't worry about it. God is saying that he needs for his children to keep their minds on him. God is saying that when you keep your mind on him, he will give you that peace. You will be in that perfect peace. He will give you that supernatural peace that you need to be able to endure and to continue to walk. Okay. God is saying that he's challenging his children to keep their minds on him. God is saying for those of you who make a strong effort to keep your mind on him this week and moving forward, he's going to bless you. He's going to show you some things that you would not otherwise see if you were not in his perfect peace. God is saying in order to receive some of those things that he wants to give you, you have to be in peace. And so this is a God challenge. God is saying that he's challenging you to keep your mind on him. Do you hear me, guys? Keep your mind on God this week. Keep your mind on God this week. Keep your mind on God this week. God wants to give you peace and he also wants to give you something else. You hear me? Love you guys. Be blessed. Bye.